She's doing to him. All right. Ow. Well, then let's get to work. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to oh. recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Supposed to do that. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Mm. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Bob? Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Oh, hang on. Water Rogers heater. Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Hmm. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Lady Arkham. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. The basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. I can get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. Okay, filtering for all homes built on that date. Bowling alley. <sighs> Damn it. Let's keep looking. Damn it. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. Dang. According to its records, it has a basement. Well, just in case she's expecting you. Ooh. What is that? Something I almost didn't get to finish because of Penguin. It's the most advanced version yet. Lady Arkham will have no idea what I've got up these sleeves. Well done, Lucius. Well You've done, You've been long sir. overdue for an upgrade. This suit is beyond state-of-the-art. Yes. This ends tonight.
Lady Arkham. It's definitely the basement. Heading into the basement. Be careful. Whoa! Batman, Batman! I'm all right. I only have one shot. Alfred, you down here? No. There's no one here. It's got no blood, Alfred. though. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. Easy, Lucius. Ooh. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. Alfred's blood is still fresh. Means we can't be far behind them. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. Behind that wall? Alfred, there's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. You'll see the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Veils have a false wall in their basement? I don't know, we're gonna kick it though. Now let's find out where the Veils were hiding. There's a small room. Ooh, what is that? With a hole in the floor. Ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. All right, we're going in. I'm going inside. What the hell? I got me chills. They kept Vicky? No wonder she's messed up. Bruce, what's down there? Do you see Alfred? No. It's some kind of torture chamber. Shackles, belts, blood. What? Vicky. She was kept down here. Locked away. Who could do that to their child? I don't know. What if you don't understand? What is there to understand? To willfully hurt a child? Vicky was just a child, and the veils locked her in the dark. Beat her. Revenge must seem like the only choice. Their own daughter! The veils' foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. Monster. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all. He would have left me a clue. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different. Newer. Hmm. Bloody scratches. Fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. Alfred? No. Yes, Vicky created her here, in this room. This is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. Hmm. The belt. It's caked in blood. Shackles. Blood on them. Old. And new. 
Vicky did to Alfred what was done to her. One piece apart from the others. Red. Mm. The same color as my tack. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe... Those towers. That must be Arkham Asylum. Words. They're highlighted. Taking me. To Arkham. Alfred left me another clue. This is what he wanted me to find. To see. He spelled it out here. Taking me. And used Vicky's own drawing of Arkham for the location. Arkham. But people would know. The staff would see them. That's the final piece. Arkham. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems. Including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors. Release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon in the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. The craziest. Everything good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken Bet over. The man. That suits no slouch. You're well prepared for a fight. And the GCPD are on their way to deal with the inmates. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. Oh, that was cool. Batman. This it's ends me. now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his pain. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be Damn dead Bruce soon. Wayne. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. He's done nothing to you. He's not part of this. Of course he's a part of this. He's the one man Bruce Wayne might actually care about. Besides himself. His suffering will teach Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham needs to learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I've been to your home. I've seen where the Vales kept you. People like them. They deserve to be behind bars. Behind bars? They deserved and got far worse than that. Even if they did, no one else needs to die. You're wrong! Your time's run out! Oh, shit! There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Uh oh. That ain't good. Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way! Is 
Here we go. Dead man. He stuck me in here. Me too. Let me out. He's the crazy one. This ain't gonna be good. Here you go, boys. Oh. Get up, him. Go. There you go. Batman. The entire security system's offline. Every inmate's loose. The leader of the children of Arkham. Did you see her? They went. <laughs> oh, God. Not the chicky. All right, go. There you go. God. To the door. <laughs> God. There you go, Vicky. He's playing. Oh, he just took a hell of a hit. Oh, my hair off. Take your oh. time, sons. That's the plan. Scarface. Oh, stop it. There you go. How's that feel? Boom. Oh, truly inspiring. Jokey. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. <laughs> the GCPD. Lady Arkham has a hostage. We got the inmates. Lock it down. Oh, big fella. What are you doing? Hey, go, Vicky. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly. They speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. Oh, damn, I didn't expect that. The hell did we go? Ooh, just quick. Vicky! <laughs> no! Vicky! Show yourself! <laughs> Let him go! Alfred! The butler has to die. No, he don't. Payment for Thomas Wilson. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. Ooh. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. I'll bring you Wayne, but first, let Alfred Pennyworth go. No, no, no. Afraid he's too useful to do that just yet. You're doing so much for one old man. He's my old man. 
Let me in on that. Woo! Vicky, stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done Why? great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? We want the same things. Those men deserved their day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than his father? He hides behind his status and wealth. He is better. He's a coward, leaving other men to carry his burden. Ooh. Vicky Pooh, where are you? There you are. are I'm for? curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? The mask is a symbol. Some fear it, but for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, okay. I'll see the man beneath. You may not like what you find. That bitch running away again. Oh. What the hell is this place? Alfred! You look like shit. Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you. You. You came. For me. Of course I came. After what you said, I knew you'd come. The man, the man I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Above you! <laughs> no. <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred? <sighs> Such concern for someone you've never met before. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. Maybe. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh! oh. That man! Shut up, old man! Quit hitting him! see my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Oh, shit. Let me see the man you really are. If that's what it will take to save him. No! Dun dun dun. Must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Nope. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true Wayne. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. 
I can't change what happened in the past. I would have fought for you, Vicky. No one should have to suffer the way that you did. You don't know how I suffered. But you will. I'll show you what Thomas Wayne did to me. To my family. Oh, my freaking ear. <laughs> Friend. No more lies. No more talk. The only truth left is in your death. There you go. Oh, not enough teeth out. Oh. God, you feel that no more, though. Down. You belong in this place, Bruce. Lost, forgotten, buried. And Gotham will not mourn. The sins of the Wade bloodline end here. There you go.
one week later. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante yeah, known she did. only as the Batman. Her death the marks Batman. the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Any word from Miss Kyle? And I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon. Oh, With my ear. Everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that. After everything that's happened. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't yes, lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. Lady Arkham, Penguin, Harvey. They won't be the last to threaten Gotham. Nope. Likely not, but you'll be ready. In the meantime, let us hope for some peace. To peace. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency Gordon. citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a fresh start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne... ...is Batman. Yes. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Thank you, Alfred. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask, and one is who you truly believe you are. Then uh... will be in attendance. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. We are currently awaiting newly appointed acting police commissioner James Gordon, who will address the city for the first time in the wake of the terrorist attacks perpetrated by Lady Arkham. I, as acting police commissioner... Smoking? Commissioner Gordon. It doesn't sound right. 
Batman. It's me. Is everything all right? I assume you're not here to give a speech. So, what is it? I wanted to show Gotham that I stand with its new commissioner. Uh, acting commissioner. But all the same, I appreciate it. City's on edge. Tonight can make all the difference. You're one hell of an addition to this lineup. Gotham's mm -hmm. best and brightest have turned out for this. I know you're not a man of many words, but I'd like to say something to Gotham on your behalf. Is there anything you'd like them to know? Maybe about how you'd like to be seen moving forward? Tell them I'll always be watching out for them. I'm sure they'll appreciate hearing that. You know, I always wanted this. To be commissioner someday. To have the chance to shape and this. And he's gone. I should probably be used to that by now. <laughs> now in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. One of those citizens is Batman. He wanted me to tell you all that he'll be watching. Ensuring the safety of our good citizens. But one hero cannot change Gotham on his own. He needs all of you, too. Let oh, Gotham be a oh, city neighbors. of heroes. United, strong, and hopeful. That ain't good. Uh, Gordon. Who are you? Clear the area. Get that bastard to lock up. Just minutes ago. Acting Commissioner James Gordon delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. Batman made short work of the assassin. Yeah. Oh boy. There he it's is. It's gonna be tough to top that. But I'll give it a shot. 